Hi guys, um, Terry here again. Um, I'm going to be looking at the January 2021 question 7 in this video, right? Um, if you haven't done so as yet, please hit like and subscribe to my channel, right? There are tons of free resources that you all can access. Alright, so question 7 here is the investigation question, right? Um, so we have a pattern here. So the diagrams below show a sequence of figures made up of circles and dots. Each figure has one dot at the center and four dots on the circumference of each circle. The radius of the first circle is one unit, right? And the radius of each new circle is one unit greater than the radius of the previous circle, except for the first figure, a portion of which of each of the other figures shaded, right? So we have a pattern here, right? So we have we have some dots, right? Um, so we have some circles, we have some shaded um, shaded parts of the circle. And as usual, they give us a table, right? So we have our figure numbers, right? Now the figure numbers are... One sec. Yeah, the figure numbers are simply what we have here. Figure one, figure two, figure three. So they give you four diagrams or four figures, right? And that's what this table or this column here is showing us, right? Then the number of dots... Right. If we go to figure one, you will see we have one, two, three, four, five dots. So that's where this number five came from. Right. Now, in this one here, they said area of the outer or the largest circle. Now, the area of a circle, right, is given by pi r squared. So for figure one, this one here, right, that's this diagram here. Your radius here is 1, right? Now let me just write down the radius of these others one time. So the radius of this is 2, radius of this is going to be 3, and the radius of the last one is 1, 2, 3, yeah, it should be 4, right? So this radius is 4 here. So the area of the first triangle, I'm uh, sorry, first circle is going to be pi, so A is pi by 1 squared, right? So that's going to give me pi. Right, so that's why they have this here. Now the area of the shaded region in that first circle, right? In this first circle, the figure one, the entire circle is shaded. So that area is still gonna be pi, right? And the total circumference of all the circles. Now the circumference is given by two pi r, right? So in my first circle, if my radius is r, it's gonna be two pi multiplied by one, and that's gonna give me two pi. So that's where they got this from here right now understanding the first line that is fine but the second line just make sure we can understand what's happening here we are on figure two this time right that's this figure here um let's look at the column and make sure we understand where those numbers came from so the first thing is the number of dots they have nine so if i check i have one two three four five six seven eight nine so that makes sense i can see where they got the nine from right so we have nine here next thing they want the area of the outer or the largest circle now this is where we need to be um be looking at right so the area is pi r squared but the radius is two so therefore it is going to be so area is pi r squared right so it's going to be pi multiplied by two squared so you're going to get four pi right so we understand where the four pi came from now they want the area of the shaded region. If you look carefully here, you have to take the area of the whole circle in figure two and subtract the area of a small circle. But you know what the area of the small circle is on the inside already, right? Um, so we're gonna take, so this shaded region for figure two, right? So this figure two we're talking about here. That's gonna be the area of the whole circle, which you got as being four pi, and then we have to subtract the um, the inner piece, which we know is equal to pi. So therefore, you're going to get 3 pi here. So that's where this came from here. And then the last part for the 6 pi, they want the total length of the circumference of all the circles. Now, in figure 2, you have two circles there. So the circumference of the first one is going to be 2 pi by 1. 
which is 2 pi and the circumference of the larger circle right as this one here right this one that's going to be 2 pi multiplied by 2 which is going to give me 4 pi and they are saying we add in those two that's what that that, that is given us so this here is going to be 6 pi that's where they got the 6 pi from so it's just for you to understand what information or how they got that information in the table right now if we look carefully here right so let me use a different color right so let's see if we can work out this number here they want us to complete the table when you jump from here to here right you are basically adding four you jump from here to here we still add in four right when we jump from here to here we still add in four so if you want to figure out this one here we just need to add four to seven and that's going to give me 21 right so that's the first number that goes in this table here um this next one here now if you notice what's happening here you're going from pi to 3 pi so i'm adding 2 pi right if i go from here to here i'm still adding 2 pi from here to here i'm still adding 2 pi so therefore this here should be 9 pi right now let's see what's happening in this last one here now so this one here we increasing by 4 then we increasing by 6 then we increase them by 8, right? So if you notice something here, you increase by 4, then 6, then 8. Therefore, when I increase here, I should increase by, I should be what, 10? Make sure I'm telling you that correct. You're adding 4, 6, 8. Yeah, we're going to add 10 this time. So this here is going to be 30 pi, right? And look at that. We're getting 3 marks just for that, right? And the last part here now, they want us to give what is the actual rule or the pattern rule there, right? Now, this working on the pattern rule for this one is straightforward because we keep increasing by the same amount all the time. We keep increasing by four, right? Whenever you have a constant increase like that, we need to look out to see what the pattern is going to be. Now, you're trying to find a relationship between your figure number and your number of dots, right? So you can, and that four is going to come into play. So let's say if I use 4n, so the figure number is n, eh? 4n plus 1, let's see if that works. 4 and four by 1 is 4 plus 1, that'll give me 5. For the next one, 4 twos are 8 and 1, 9. Yeah, so it seems to be working so far. 4 threes are 12 and 1, 13. 4 fours are 16 and 1, 17. Yeah, so this pattern seems to be working here, right? So this here should be 4n plus 1. Makes sense, right? Now for this column now, we have the area of the outer circle. So you're trying to find a relationship between your figure number and your area of the outer circle. So if you notice something here, you have one here and then you have pi. You have two here and then you have four pi. So if you notice something here, you realize that the pattern is this. It's going to be n squared multiplied by pi, right? That is what the pattern is. So this here is going to be n squared multiplied by pi. That's what this is, right? For this next one here, we notice that we keep increasing by 2 pi, right? We keep adding 2 pi as we move along, right? So we need to figure out what is the pattern in that scenario, right? So for this one, right, we can say, um, let's see. Now we're trying to find a relationship between the figure number and the area of the shaded region, right? So what if we use 2n minus 1 multiplied by pi? Let's see if that makes sense, right? So 2 by 1 is 2. I'm trying to figure 1. 2 by 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So 1 by pi is pi. Okay, that works. 2 twos are 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 by pi is 3 pi. So that works. For figure 3, 3 twos are 6 minus 1 is 5. 5... Okay, so this seems to be working here. So this, this here is going to be 2n minus 1 multiplied by pi. That's what we're going to use here, right? So to work out these patterns here, sometimes you have to use trial and error to work them out, right? And for the last one, right? Um, let's see. Now that is not a constant increase, so this one is a little trickier, right? So let's see... You're trying to find a relationship between figure number and total circumference, right? So I have 1 corresponding to 2 pi 2. What if we put n 
multiplied by n plus 1 multiplied by pi 1 by 2 is 2 2 by 3 is 6 3 by 4 okay so this seems to be working right if I put n my n plus 1 multiplied by pi that works right so like I said there's no easy way to practice with this question I suggest that you guys um, practice a ton of past papers based on this investigation question they're not very straightforward right some of them are not very straightforward some can be right but it requires practice and look at this four marks for this right um, so that's the table the next part is said determine the value of n when the number of dots in figure n is 541 so we're talking about um, the number of dots right so the number of dots is given by 4n plus 1 so the number of dots is given by the formula 4n plus 1 right in this case uh, the number of dots here is 541 so all I'm gonna do is put 4n plus 1 equal 541 so therefore 4n is equal to 541 minus 1 so 4n is equal to 540 so n is equal to 540 divided by by 4 right so therefore that's going to give me um, 135 right so this is figure 135 right that's what that means figure 135 is going to have 541 dots right the next part here write down in terms of p and pi the area of the largest circle in figure 3p right so the for figure n right the area of the largest circle right is given by n squared pi so for figure n right um, the area of largest circle is equal to n squared pi right so therefore if we want to figure it out for figure 3p right then that area is going to be equal to 3p squared multiplied by pi when I square this, I'm going to get 9p squared pi, right? So that's what the answer is going to be. It's going to simply be 9p squared pi, right? So that, that, that brings us to the end of this question, right? So like I said, guys, hit subscribe, like, and also hit the notification button if you want to know when I go live, right?